Welcome to FP Executive. I'm John Turley Yurt. I'm joined today by Carly Kinnear from IBM, who's a partner in the business consulting group, Strategy and Transformation. Carly, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Carly, you, you've been doing a lot of work in, in HR management, and this is a subject that has become of great interest, particularly after the 2008 meltdown. Uh, a lot of HR professionals have been sort of wondering, you know, how do we manage through this transition? How do we manage for the future? And you've been doing a lot of work at IBM looking at new technologies, new ways of thinking. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the research that's been going on at IBM? Yes, a lot of, re a lot of research has been going on. So in the last five years, we have started doing intensive research. We started off with just surveying 300 executives first. Okay. Chief Executive Officers, and that has expanded into 700 that we have now been able to capture their thoughts of what's going on around the globe. We call it our Global CHRO Study, and the latest results have just been made, uh, made available to us. What's, what's the, the most striking results that you've seen from that study so far? You know, what's mm -hmm. really interesting is that there are some trends that, that have stayed with us over years, but okay. there are also some, some highlights, like, so the trends would be organizations and the CHROs have been saying to us that they really have a challenge with, with identifying leadership okay. and with growing leadership. Okay. And that has been something that has been happening over a long time. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, the entire experience that we've had over the last two years with the mm -hmm. economy has made them much more aware of the fact that they don't have the infrastructure, they don't have the information to specifically pinpoint what are the skills that we have in the organization, oh. who are the ones that are truly productive and who are truly contributing mm -hmm. to our core business, and, and what do we do with them? How do we get them in the right place at the right time? And so they struggled with that. So, so there, there seems to be a, a desire to, to better understand their employees, the talent they have on the ground. Are, are, is there some tools that are being used today to help identify those, those uh, talents inside organizations? There are many different technologies that are available, and, mm -hmm. and it covers an entire spectrum of, of different technologies, mm -hmm. all the way from you know, the individuals that you want to recruit into your business okay. to being able to predict where your gaps are going to be in the future. Okay. And this is where really where organizations are moving towards. They want to have that analytical capability. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they mm -hmm. are telling us that they're not there yet. Okay. You know, they're acknowledging that. So how far, how far are we talking to the future to develop these kinds of skills? Are we, is this a, a, you know, a two-year project, five-year project? How long does it take to sort of develop that, that understanding of the collective intelligence one has in an organization? This process mm -hmm. of, of identifying and mm -hmm. growing skill is mm -hmm. never ending. Think of, the, the, it's the evolution process that we all are in right now, and this is what the study tells us. Mm -hmm. It gives us a view of the evolution of HR, right. um, all the way from the inception of first just focusing on getting work right, now to being smarter with work. It's not about working harder, okay. it's about working smarter. Working sm well, one of the interesting issues that I've mentioned uh, in conversations with some HR people is sometimes HR seems to be one of the things that was cut when, when people were looking for ways to find savings in organizations. And I think today some people are thinking perhaps that was a mistake. Um, in, in the study that IBM has done, you seem to be suggesting people are sort of stepping back and looking at HR now from a different perspective. Is it, do you think it's been being seen as uh, a, an asset that perhaps has been overlooked in the past or not fully exploited, if I can put it that way? You know, well, mm -hmm. I, can, can, I can comment on the Canadian environment. Okay. And I can also provide some reflections on, on what the global, the global information that we have. Mm -hmm. So you are right. It is true that in the past mm -hmm. that HR was a place where employees have been cut. Mm -hmm. But the reason for that was because HR didn't necessarily have a dynamic model themselves. I see. So let me give you an example. Um, mm -hmm. We work with a, an airline company. Mm -hmm. You know, it services 250 cities, 40 wow. countries, mm -hmm. 82,000 employees. Yeah. They had an in internal HR function and realized that the, that the technology that they were using was making it difficult for them to just keep up with the new advances in technology. And it was a huge function, so they were not flexible themselves. Okay. And what they did was to, to, to make this uh, 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 specific decision to only focus on their core business. Mm 
Uh-huh. So what they they identified partners and associates and suppliers to to help them to still produce the HR services that they themselves need to provide, mm-hmm. but they ended up with only focusing on the core functions, mm-hmm. which is to build a culture which is highly productive, mm-hmm. to be able to pinpoint where the skills are, mm-hmm. and everything else around training, around benefits, around. Um, employee salary management compensation is being done by other suppliers to them interesting so 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 the, th- this is a, an important shift you're talking about it's moving away from uh, what might be administration to going into sort of a cultural mindset and thinking about HR as creating a culture within the organization and not simply you know providing administrative services to, to staff oh absolutely you know CEOs are telling us that they are really looking to their HR functions to be the strategic at advisor to them of how to get the best out of their workforce. Interesting. Well, uh, Carly, thanks for this. Let's come back and talk a little bit uh, more about this in our second part. Thank you.